Provincetown is surrounded by a, just a wealth of natural beauty. The dunes surrounding it and the beach have drawn authors and artists seeking inspiration. There's also woods, ponds, salt marshes, and all sorts of wonderful natural features to explore in the seashore surrounding the town. From the light uh, that's all around us to the sand dunes to all the interesting vegetation on the sand dunes, the seashore that surrounds us, the land itself and where we are and the fact that we're really on this spit of sand out in the middle of the ocean and we're so completely surrounded by nature. You have within a very short distance the woods, the ponds, you have fishing, you have the dunes. It's just so beautiful everywhere you look here. In three minutes from your house, you can be at one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, and Hatches Harbor in the spring, where the whales will take their young because it's so protected. We, since we originated whale watching on the East Coast, we did uh, extreme amount of business almost, almost immediately because we had people becoming environmentalists because of the uh, pollution and everything, and uh, I didn't know much about it, believe me. <laughs> None of us did. There were only six people in the country, we learned later, that knew anything about whales in 1975. The first trip I ever made was with a true, central, true elementary school, fourth graders. So we went out there, and I'd be damned if there weren't about as many right whales as anyone's ever seen. We made people environmentalists, small environmentalists, so I think, was, yeah, I think we did a lot. Provincetown is pretty unique. You can really kayak year round, depending on what type of gear you're equipped with. The weather is always great here. There's tons of things to do. If you're sitting in a hotel room, that's the wrong thing you should be doing. You should be out doing stuff, from whale watches to taking scenic plane rides um, to obviously kayaking. <laughs> it seems like the traffic on the trails is up. More and more people are taking to their bikes. The bike trails are really the place to be uh, for a casual ride uh, and a great uh, workout. You, you go through a lot of different uh, uh, setting and, and uh, you can have the beach forest that will bring you uh, in the cooler area of the bike trails which there's great ponds and uh, nature walks. You can get through the dunes and the uh, ocean on another part of the bike trail which is uh, another type of um, environment which is also incredibly beautiful. The bike trails here are great for people of all ages. More and more people are discovering Provincetown by bike. Provincetown is unique <laughs> and we just try to maintain it and keep it unique. I think we're unique because we have one of the only quaking bogs on the Cape. It is a treasure of wildlife, vegetation. It is a turtle habitat. Tremendous number of bird species come through here. It's perceived to be the site of the four-toed salamander and it is protected not only by the Conservation Commission, but also is part of the Conservation Trust. I don't have one special place, it's just a special place altogether. And I would trade it for nowhere in the world. I can remember a bunch of Japanese artists came here one year. It was like the perfect place on the planet, they said. It's a unique place unlike any place else. And there's so much tolerance here for all, that's why Perhaps the pilgrims landed here first. It's a narrow town that was built right on the water to be as close to the sea as possible and it retains a unique flavor of the ocean. So it's a place of incredible natural beauty and unique cultural history. Thank you.